All right, so Brandy, let's move on to our next topic. We want to talk about, is this a buyer's market? Because we've been hearing a lot of people think, wow, now this is a, a buyer's market, but we do have a few stats on this, so I'll let you Yeah, so at the end of May, it was just released that we are sitting around 1.7 months of inventory. Uh, it was 0 0.8, so that was a span of 30 days. And, and it's that doubled. 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 Yeah. So again, for those of you that haven't been following us along, months of inventory, essentially, it's a number that we use. It's if every active house on the market were to sell with nothing else getting listed, just whatever is active were to sell, mm -hmm. that's how long it would take. That's the months of inventory. So to go from 0.8, which is basically like three weeks, to going to 1.7, which yeah. now we're, you know, month and three quarters, like a month and three weeks, that's doubling. That's, Double. that's a huge jump. And I mean... Again, anything three months and under is still considered a seller's market. Three to five is balanced. Five plus is a buyer's market. So we're not even at a balanced market yet. Like yeah. We're still 1.7. I mean, we're halfway to a, a balanced market, but we still have a little distance to go there. I think the Bank of Canada still has a few more phases that they plan on doing, but yeah, we're not we're not there yet. We're not I know. Balanced, so. And they did say it when the rate hike came, the 50 basis points uh, a couple days ago, uh, but by the time you watch this, it'll be a week ago. But when those came, they did say in the press release that they're prepared to take forceful and dramatic action to continue to bring the inflation down. Like inflation was 6.1%. Their target is 2%. Yeah. So they said right in the article, and July 13th is when they're releasing the next batch of info, they stated that they'll do whatever it takes to try and hit that 2% target. So I think we're going to keep seeing some rates go up and I mean that's going to launch us into a balanced market and who knows by the end of the year we could be seeing a buyer's market. Yeah it wasn't sustainable I no. just don't think. It was getting out of control. Yeah. It's I'm happy that it's gone this way because now it's just I don't know it's easier to find a place if you're selling things are still selling if it's still a good house price reasonable but it's definitely people are being a little more picky. I think as, as a seller you're just you're changing up the strategies a little bit you got to expect that your house might sit on the market longer than five days and you might not have crazy bidding wars. Yeah, and that's it. And our average days is at 14 days uh, at the end of May, whereas before it was 12. So it's not staying a lot longer, but still we're having an increase. Whereas, I mean, in February, I think it was six or seven days. So yeah. it's already in February was the peak. So it's already gone up from there. I think that we're not at that buyer's market yet, but mm -hmm. I do think we're on a road to getting there possibly by the end of the year. Yeah, I think when pe there starts the listing amounts start to drop, I think we'll get closer to that. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But what do you guys think? What are you seeing out there? Are you seeing that this is a buyer's market? Do you think it's still a seller's market? Um, what do you think is going to happen? We always love hearing opinions on are that. Are you nervous to sell? Yeah, that's it. And if you are, don't be. I mean, we're still listing and selling a lot of houses. It's just about those expectations, right, in exactly. this market. So yeah. anyways, it's all relative. You buy high, you sell high, you buy low, you sell low. But let us know what you think. We want to hear mm -hmm. it. Taking down.